So this is an apparatus designed by Desaguliers to show the difference between center of motion, center of mass, or center of gravity. So we're going to start off with the simplest case, which is simply a circular disk onto the calipers. And you can see right at the center of the disk, we've cut a hole. So we fixed it in place. And so no surprises, of course, when I spin it, it spins beautifully and it doesn't wobble. So the center of motion here is obviously in the center of weight of the disk. So that's the first disk. Um, the second disk, we've got a very sim similar situation. But here, I'm going to support the disk, not at its center, but slightly offset. So we've got the center here, which is equivalent to the other disk. And as I spin it, because it's now no longer at the center, obviously when I spin it, it's going to wobble around, as you can see quite clearly. But what you discover, very straightforwardly, is that there's actually two stable positions. If I just hold it at any random position, it tends to fall. So there's one stable position is where the whole thing tends to fall down. It actually falls in a line going from the center of motion down to the center of the Earth, because obviously gravity is attracting the disk. So that's one stable position. There's actually another stable position where the main weight of the circle is directly above the center. So if you follow the line from the center of the Earth, go through the center of motion, and then up through. This is the other stable position. So you have these two stable positions where the um, disk is in equilibrium. One at this top point and two at the bottom. So we've already discovered there's two stable equilibrium points. Now we come on to the third disk. This is a round disk, but I've included a, a mass or a weight in the disk. So if you like, the disk is no longer uniform. There's this extra weight. And as a result of that, if I put it into the device and put it right at the center, um, do that up. Because of this extra mass, it now wobbles when it spins. And this, of course, is because it's got this extra weight, which is unbalancing it. Straight away, we discover that it's quite happy to take its lowest position. So because of this extra weight, of course, it's falling under gravity. If you take a line from the center of motion down to the center of the Earth, you find the first equilibrium point goes through the weight, as you'd expect. But there's also this other second equilibrium point here at the top. Anything else, it just falls round. Now, obviously, in machines of all types, you like to balance things. So how can we balance this? To do that, we need to know where the center of mass is, or the center of gravity. And Newton discovered a very simple way of doing this. He said, if you uh, take a random point and suspend the device, so I'm just taking a point at the top here, obviously it's going to fall under gravity. If I take a plumb line, which is going to point to the center of the Earth, from this point going through the circle, I can use the plumb line to draw a line. And so we get this line going from the point all the way down across the disk. And somewhere on this line is the center of gravity. So what we do is we take a second random point, and we do exactly the same thing. Just tighten that up. And again, of course, if I let go, it's going to fall under gravity. Uh, and we take the plumb line. And we take from that point, we use the plumb line to draw another line, a second line, onto the disk. And the center of gravity must also lie on that line. So if the center of gravity lies on the first line and the second line, the point, the actual point where the center of gravity is, the center of weight, must be where they intersect. And you can see I've marked that. And I've also cut a hole there. So if I now undo this and put it on this third point, fourth point, and suspend the disk at this intersection of the two lines. If I spin it, you see, although it wobbles because it's no longer at the center of, of the actual disk, it's perfectly balanced, as you can see. If I stop it anywhere, it stays there quite happily. It's not going to fall to these two equilibrium points because we balance the whole wheel. So using this beautiful, simple technique, you take two points at random, measure a line using a plumb line. We find the new center of weight. And now if we suspend it there, 
although it wobbles, it's perfectly balanced, and we found the center of mass or the center of gravity.